as composed by Wasan Desai and sung by none other than Lataji, uh, especially for all those who are suffering, fighting for their lives during this pandemic. I'm sure you all enjoy it. Oh 
से धरती थमी दिया तूने हमें जब जन्म तो ही जेलेगा हम सब का गम नेकी पर चले और बल्की से तले ताकि हंसते Thank you, Rita Ben. Probably to sort of see the opening song. Perhaps we could sort of go over to Ayub. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. Yeah. My name is Ayub Patel. I'm uh, born in Jakarta, then uh, came over with my parents to Lusaka in mm-hmm. 1960. Um, mm-hmm. Attended Lotus Primary School from 60 to 67, and uh, and. Uh, Kumala Secondary School up to seventy one, and then went to India to complete my studies. Came back in nineteen seventy five. Joined Zambia Airways uh, at Ndeke House. So I don't know if people remember Ndeke House near Lusaka Club, and then went on to Air India. We worked there for a couple of years, uh, and then came to the UK in nineteen eighty four, and have been here since. Uh, currently, I work with the Department of Works and Pensions so as a benefits processor. And I was saying to Sunil Bai the other day, we work seven days a week, being um, classed as uh, key workers, frontline staff. So we're on the job seven days a week, uh, uh, helping people um, uh, with their financial needs and uh, to make a difference in their lives. And that's me. Thank you, Ayub. Would you like to nominate anybody in the room, which you can see on the screen, to introduce themselves?
Can you see the screen? You could nominate anybody on the screen to introduce themselves. Anybody, anybody can come in. Who is okay. To uh, show, would you like to come in? You are mute. You're on mute, Kishore. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, my name is Kishore Bilimoria. I went to Lotus Primary School too. And then uh, from 60, 1964 to 1968, I was at uh, Prince Philip, which is known as Kamwala. Hmm. Then in 69, hmm. I left for England, studied accounting, I became an FCCA, and worked for a, about a year at a chartered accountant firm in England. Then moved to States in 1976 and went into hotel business. And uh, my brothers in uh, Zambia, one of them owned a Savoy Taylor shop on Cairo Road. Another brother called Arvin Bilimoria owned Chilanga service station near Munnawanga Garden. And my dad had a grocery store next to, next to the gas station. He's listening. Um, I'm here in state since 1976. I'm currently retired. Well, that's it. Thank you, Kishore. Uh, shall we ask Agnes? Okay. My name is Pratish Mistri. Uh, welcome, everybody. Um, <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, from Zambia, obviously, just like everybody else. Born in 1961 in uh, Northern Rhodesia and uh, was li lived in Lusaka. Uh, went to school at the Lusaka Boys School from, I believe it was 1693. And then uh, finished those dreaded exams from that to enter the form one classes, secondary school and went to Kabulonga, Kabulonga Boys School. Uh, studied there until the until Form Three, and then emigrated in 1976 to uh, UK to finish off my uh, O levels and A levels there, and went on to uh, get my uh, degree in pharmacy at Bath University. Spent three years there. Uh, I stayed over in U UK for a while. I got married there. I have two girls, uh, which were born there, and when they were two and five in 1995. I moved to uh, California, where my brothers were here, um, in the same business as pharmacy, in uh, Southern California and Los Angeles. Um, to give you a little bit of more connection, perhaps uh, you may know my family from Zambia. My dad used to own Emson Store, Chagan by Mystery, um, Emson Store next to Chinika Store, and. Um, <clears throat> my brothers are Rajnikant Mystery, the eldest one, Giant Mystery, JC, known as JC. Every, a lot of people know them because he was there for the longest of time. Ranjit Mystery, he lived in Kitwe for quite a while, and uh, Dilip Mystery as well. And uh, so now I'm in California. I've been here since 1995. I've got my own business, pharmacy business, uh, in the city of uh, Karehe, which is near Southeast LA. But I live in the city of Corona. Uh, well known now after this virus thing so don't stay away you're welcome to come <laughs> when uh, when things open up right uh, so briefly that's uh, that's me uh, thank you for having me uh, join the Tiende Pamodzi club Muri Buanji everybody thank you perhaps if anybody has questions or wanting to reconnect with uh, Pratish you can unmute yourself and ask questions or Yeah, hi. Um, hey, how's sorry. he? Hey, hello, how are you? British, you okay? <laughs> good, man, long time no see. Oh, good, long time. Yeah. I would like to say something about... Hello, sorry, yeah, go ahead. It's good to see Indu Masi today. She's a best friend for my mother-in-law, Kamu Ben. She is the one who started the Gujarati school in Lusaka. I'm sure whoever have learned Gujarati with Ba will remember her. 
Good to see Ashok Bai. Sudha Ben. Good to see good faces today. Thank you. Hello, hi, Sunil. Yeah. Okay. So uh, good to see. Uh, in fact, I'm I'm just looking at my cousin. I think he was on earlier on. Kishore. Kishore Bai. Is he there? Kishore. You can Kishore unmute Bhai. yourself. Kishore. Kishore Bai Billy Moria. You're still on mute. You know. Kishore and uh, Kishore Bai. Yeah, Hi. how are you? Hi. How are you? You okay? Okay, no, see. Yeah. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> I'm in Michigan for the last some of 40 years. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. Good um, on this forum. Yeah. Ah. yeah we're waiting for Arvind to join us. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've just come back. I was, I was out in a meeting, a uh, training. I've just come back and I thought, let me join up, see what's happening. Where, where have you been? I was out uh, doing some training for this oh, COVID-19. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how are you keeping? Okay? All the kids okay? Everything's oh, good. Doing well. Ah, are they with you? They're away? Konde. Uh, your two sons there? My two, one, one son is in uh, Alexandria, Virginia. He works for the federal government. He's a budget analyst. Mm. And the other one is in Arizona. He mm. is a the director with JLL, Joe mm. and Company, a real estate Very company. Good. Yeah, excellent. And Bobby? I'm in Michigan. I saw my hotel in 2018. Just uh, not at the right time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good time. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be difficult situation now. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And I'm into hey. the business now. Perhaps, Hammond, if you could introduce yourself. Hammond. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, let me introduce. I'm, my, I'm from Lusaka. Uh, I went to, Pratish was on earlier on, we went to the same school, the Saga Boys School, and then I went on to Kamala Secondary School from there. My dad was popularly known as Rex, okay. uh, Rex Taylor in Lusaka. Taylor. He was known as, uh, everybody knew him as Rex, and he had a tailoring business. My uncle was Bukhan, Mr. Chunibai Bukhan. Or our uncle, Kishore Bhai is on there, so... Mama, uh, oh, Mama. Mama, yeah. Chuni Bhai Bukhan, he's uh, Bukhan and Sons was on Kaira Road, Lusaka. Pratish uh, went to... Uh, Pratish, did you go to Kabulonga or Kamala? You went uh, to Kabulonga? Yeah, Kabulonga. I think Kabulonga. Sunil was there with us there. Yeah, yeah. Kabulonga. Kabulonga. And I, I went to Kamala Secondary School, but I was with Pratish. Uh, his brother went to Kabulonga, but Lusaka boys, we were in the same... Lusaka club. boys, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we then your store was near ours. We used to meet up and all that. Yeah, that's right. And in London, we were in the UK when we moved. You were not far from where we used yeah. to live. Yeah, I was in Rainers Lane, I think. Yeah. And you were uh, somewhere. We're still there. We're in Pinner now. Not far. Oh, from you're in Pinner, right? Pinner, yeah. Not far good, from. Good. There. So, I'm Sunil, by sorry, too. yeah. Um, Lovely. Thank you. In the Masi. Namaste. Anna, Tamari, I want to eat our Padani Maja. Right, Tamay Vatkaron, Tamay Gujati Skulma Vatkata Temp. Mute much at the mute. Tamari, uh, sound off chair, Tamikaraj, the Dan is Hello Karo. Yeah, yeah, is it working? Jara Jara Karo, so no, she's oh, not coming yes, off. Chair. No, she I think she's having difficulty, so no, bye. Okay, no problem, don't worry. I can introduce her if you want she's me to. Good. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's okay. I think somebody's helping her. Okay. Be nice to everybody's. Uh, Rita Ben was uh, wanting to talk, say hello to her. I know, I know. Come on, mute, unmute. Hello, could you introduce yourself, please? Yep. This lady was on the phone just now. Oh. Who, me? Yeah. Ati. Okay, now, okay, that's my mom, Indu Patel. Um, she's from Lusaka. Um, she's the wife of late Ishwar by um, Everready Tea Room in Kamwala. 
Oh. And that's my mom. Yeah, she was a Gujarati teacher. A lot of people know them as Bapa and Bapi in Lusaka. They were very mm -hmm. well known. And uh, my dad was a commissioner of Oats and uh, chairman of the Betty Kaunda Foundation in Lusaka. And she was born in Mozambique and then she came to Zambia and then now she's here with us. She has two daughters, myself, my name is Arti and my younger sister's name is um, Surbi. And she lives in Atlanta right now with my sister. You guys used to live on Lubumba Road, right? First, or near there? No, oh, we were on Obote Road. Masikama. Oh, Masikama. Yeah, we were right okay. across the Hindu Hall next to the Indian Library. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yeah. Right opposite That's up there, uh, Malukaka, Malukaka's place. Yes. Right opposite yes. there. Yeah. Yes. Right. Pratish, I know you also very well. Yes. <laughs> How yeah. are you? All right. Good. I bet Met Kishore and who else? No, Praveen isn't there today. He, they also know your brother, Radhikan, the eldest oh, one. Oh, yeah. That's he right, yeah. He blows his cheeks. <laughs> is, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> and I know, I know your mom and your sister and your the whole family. Oh, wow, wow. From, Where's uh, mom? Where's mom? Mom is, uh, mom is here with my other brother, Ranjit. Uh, just a couple uh -huh. of miles away from me. She stays, uh, she moves around with our brothers. She's okay. doing well. She's 92 years old. Yeah, and, I, I uh, saw her birthday celebration on Facebook. Jen yeah, so she, she's still fit. Now and then. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. good. Oh, good I to am, see you I, all. You must, you must have come to my place so, so many times with your mom and dad and everybody. We used to visit. Where did you live? House. I'm the daughter of Paramount Taylors, if you remember. On Cha 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 Road, oh, sorry. Paramount Taylors. They're all oh, right, 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 right. Oh my God, <laughs> it's a small world. Mm. Yep. yep, it yeah. is well, nice to see you. And Hammond. Mm. Hey. They, they used to be. And I know Rita, Rita, Rita Ben Naik from uh, the uh, later on in. Uh, she was part of the group which uh, my brother JC had. Uh, uh, organized uh, called Sazo Rawaz in Lusaka and oh. uh, Rita Ben she used to sing and uh, we got to know her very well through that and recently we connected uh, Rita Ben through through uh, voice right and singing <laughs> on Facebook yeah I have a question for Hammond and Partish you sure yeah. you have a question yeah. for Hammond and Partish the two pharmacists yeah yeah where can I get a COVID-19 vaccine? I'm having a hard time. Yeah, you'll have to come to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> like right. Phil, he won't get a chance in the UK. He's got to have a national insurance number. Uh, in UK. Uh, you, I mean, you're in, you're in USA, right? Sorry? Yeah, he's in USA. Kishorba is there. Kishorba, you're in USA, right? Kishorba. Right. Michigan. Michigan, yeah. We have a big problem of supply chain here. It is right. so disorganized, you know, That's and right. uh, but uh, being in healthcare, I just had my second shot yesterday, actually. So now, supposedly You're fully, right? Yeah. Which, uh, so which brand have you had? I had to go for the American Moderna one. <laughs> All right, okay, Moderna. How do you, Hammond? Kishorba, if you want it, uh, I'm starting in uh, March, so you can fly over. Can you ship one? <laughs> no, no, not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> not allowed to do things like that. No, no. It's illegal. <laughs> Pratish, good to see you after a long time. Oh, Mahendra. I mean, after a long Mayan, time, it's Mayan, been ages. Right? Yeah. yeah. How are you doing? Yeah. I'm doing good, man. It's been a long good, time. Good. We used to hang. My, uh, Mahendra and I we used to hang around a lot because we used to come to Balukaka's place every weekend, nearly. You know with Kanak and Rajesh, and then we used to play cricket, whatever Gilly, it is. Gilly, Gilly Danda and T. T Gilly Danda, my God, Majal, T yeah, from money. Who was that? Is that Mahendra Bhai? Sorry, can you introduce yourself, Mahendra Bhai? I'm from Lusaka. My dad yeah. was uh, on my own grosses. I used to stay next to the Hindu hall in the corner house. Oh, yeah. Chotu and I got two brothers, Anil, older That's brother, right. he's a doctor, and uh, a younger brother, Sailesh. They're three brothers. What's your I mean, older brother doing now? He's a doctor. Okay, Anil. I'm sorry? Is that Anil? Anil, yeah. Yes. That's the one. Anil used to look after the shop, my own grocers. Yeah, yeah. I remember. 
So you're the younger one. Yeah. I'm the middle, middle one. Middle one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gosh, it's been such he, a long time. He, his youngest brother, Shailesh, he man, he used to be an amazing table tennis player. I think he played for Zambia, yeah. net. Yeah, yeah. He went to Nigeria too. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Remember that. Oh, now, where, whereabouts are you? In? Clarksville, Tennessee, about one hour from Nashville. <laughs> okay, okay. Where the Fort Campbell Army base is, about fifteen miles from there. Wow. Okay. Very good. That's awesome. So, nice to connect, my, my yeah, yeah. Nice to connect. Yeah. Well, it's good to see a lot of people in America. How's how's everything in uh, in uh, in the states? Uh, pharmacy wise, practice. Are you are you busy? Um. Yeah. Pharmacy wise, I've always been open. Uh. You know, it's uh, challenging, but uh, mm -hmm. as long as you keep to the protocol, masks and shields and disinfecting, mm -hmm. it's been mm -hmm. safe. I, I I work in our uh, Los Angeles County, which is the uh, mm -hmm. most infected county. You know, so mm -hmm. our cases are huge, okay. but uh, we've been keeping safe. You know, I safe. even. Uh, we restrict people, we lock the doors, we only allow yeah. when they ring the bell outside and allow two yeah. people at a time. So you have to have some sort of uh, control over it, otherwise it... You need it, a it, protocol, it, yeah. Yeah, you need to have a protocol. How about yeah. you? Uh, where's your pharmacy, by the way? Mine is up in Twickenham, near the Twickenham Rugby oh. Football Ground. I don't know if you guys yeah, watch the rugby there. I, I used to work in Strawberry Hills, you know? Yeah, so it's a place called Witten. Witten, I know it, yes. Uh, in between uh, Hounslow and Twickenham, so not far from the Twickenham rugby ground. Yeah. How many pharmacy shops do you have? I had I had uh, two, but I got uh, we got rid of the other one. Well, not rid, sold the other one. Okay. So I'm just now staying with this and trying to take a back seat. So this lady here, so your name was um, your dad, Everedi Tiru. He was very. Party. With the UNIP the party. I yes. He used to uh, wear a, a yellow UNIP uh, t shirt in those days. He sure did. Uh, yes. Yeah? So is, is that's your dad? Yep. Yeah? He was nominated uh, for a Betty Counter a chairman of the Betty Counter Foundation. When and he, then he was also he, a commissioner for Oats. Yeah. When he had that tea room, was he, uh, were, you, were you there at, at, in school at that time? I was in school. I mean, I um, I went to Lotus Primary School and then St. Mary's uh, Secondary, which used to be the convent. Convent, yeah. And then convent. he passed away in eighty. He passed away in nineteen eighty three, and I was sixteen, mm -hmm. and my my sister was eight when he okay. passed away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where did he yeah. passed away? In Lusaka. He passed away in Lusaka at the UTH, yeah, University Teaching Hospital. Okay. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because I I we. Like uh, I went to Kamala Secondary School. Right. So we used to park his tea room every day. Yeah. <laughs> three times, three times a day. Yeah, he, a lot of lot of this Kamala Kamala boys always used to stop by. <laughs> and we used to stop at his tea room. Yeah. By, for he, coke. Yeah, I think my mom's on mute now, so she might want to talk to somebody. Okay, carry on. Mom. Hello. Okay, there you go. Okay, bolo. Bolle bhai. Namaste. Puchha kya puchha kya bolle gyo. Jai Tere Saru bolia chha me. Good, good. Namaste. Bolle na thi kya? Namaste. Namaste. Tamhe aur hi chhu masi. Namaste masi kya chhu? Good chhe. Eighty years thi aaj jo pak chale chhe. Very good, Masi. Very good. Masi's got a very similar picture to mine here. He's very strong-minded and he's got a very strong willpower. That's good. That's great. I mean, that. Yeah, that <laughs> we can't help it. <laughs> She's got a very similar picture to the one I've got at the back. That's right. Yeah. Who else have we got? Soda Bobby. Hi. 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 Hi.
Hi. You need to unmute. You're on mute. Can you unmute yourself? Unmute. There you go. Ah. Hi, I'm uh, Sudha Patel. Uh, before marriage, I was Sudha Sharma. My father was uh, Dr. B.J. Sharma. My mom was Pali Ben Sharma. Um, he had businesses in um, Cairo Road, Star Jewelers, and um, Zam Travel. I was born in Livingston, came into Lusaka when we were eight years old. Um, studied in Lotus for just a one or two years, mm -hmm. then went into Silverest Boarding School, which is a little further than the airport. Studied there for two years. I suppose he was training me to go overseas for studies. I finished my studies in India, Jaipur, MGD Girls School. Then went to two years Canada, did my two years of college there. And then I married Narendra Patel, fondly known as Harry Patel of AJC Brothers. Uh, his brothers are Chandakan Bhai, Anil Bhai, Jagdish Bhai, sisters Shakuben, who lives in Paris, and another sister in London. Unfortunately, we've lost another sister in London recently. Um, his parents were Umed Bhai and Mani Ben Patel. And uh, at the moment, uh, because our kids are here, I have a son and a daughter. My daughter is settled in um, Atlanta. And my son is here in Virginia, uh, Abington. Abington, Virginia. And we are here for one more year till he finishes his residency. Then won't know where to go next. Travel with him, I suppose. I and um, Harry have left Zambia for the time being and settling with our kids here, spending quality time with the grandkids. And um, that's it. That's me. Lovely to meet nice you. to meet you all, members. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice I was you. in India, so I'm sure I don't remember many people. I did my studies in India. I used to come for holidays, but that's about it. Most of my years were spent abroad. You, you had a the brother by family. The name, sorry, you had a brother by the name of Vijay. Is that right? That's right. Vijay, he's Vijay. doing um, ocean basket in Livingston. He's he married still, and settled. He's still in Zambia? He's still in Livingston, yes. Oh, okay. And I had another brother called Raju. He's no more Raju. with us. Mm. And then and, uh, I have another uncle. sister in Kitwe, Asha. Mm. Yeah. Your uncle was um, Sombai. Sombai in Andola and Keshu Kaka in Kitwe. Yeah. Correct. My mm. mom and dad were, well, I know your dad. Yeah, they were, they were really well sort of versed with your mom and dad. Hi. Hi. Okay, that's uh, and, Harry. Hi. Uh, how's okay? All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I remember you, Harry. You, uh, you, you, you won't remember me because we were, you were still in school. You were in, okay. in secondary school at that time. Uh, I remember okay. you too, Harry, long time ago. Mm. Yeah, right. I remember you, yeah. What's your name, by the way? Sorry? Mahendra. Oh, sorry. Oh, my, yeah. name my name is Hemant. Hemant? Yeah, Hemant. You oh, might Taylor. know, you might know, yeah, Taylor, Taylor. Okay, good. Yeah, so you might know my cousins, Bukans, you know, Bharat yeah. Bukhan. Yeah. I think, he, I think you you knew him well, Bharat, Bharat Bukhan. Yeah, right. Because I used to see you together in town. Yeah, right, right. So he's my cousin, my first cousin. Okay. So where are you my based other cousin is there, Kishore Billy Moria. Yeah, he's my he's my cousin as well. He's on he's on the forum at the moment. Okay. 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 Then right. you had Sombai and Sombai's kids. I don't know where they are. There was a they are in the UK. 
one of one of them was Hammond. His name was Hammond Bipin. Yeah. Bipin, yeah. Yeah, he's in uh, Leicester. Hmm. Yeah, and he two sisters at the uh, three sisters, I think. Three sisters. Oh, Imlata Bharti Talla. Yeah, one of them was Lata, and the eldest one, India. She was in India, studying in India when I got to. Hemlata. Yeah, yeah. Yes, she was studying with me in Jaipur. Okay, okay. All right, now I can picture you now. I know where you can. Yeah, I think I've ah, seen that's you. nice. <laughs> yeah. Hemant, is your mom still in Zambia? Yeah, Sorry? yeah mom is still there. Mom is still in oh. Bissaka. Wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, she's managing the whole situation there. <laughs> wow, good. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, sure. Sagan, where, uh, on Lumumba Road. So if anyone's from really? Lumumba Road, like Pratish there, oh. his house was on Lumumba Road as well. It's nice. It must be very aggressive. <laughs> uh, you should buy one of your brothers used to stay on Makishi Road? We all used to stay there. Oh, Makishi Road. Ah, okay. We were opposite, opposite. you on Makish, uh, Makishi Road. Really? The double story building. Well, AJC what, brothers. What business you had? AJC Brothers. But directly opposite us, there was a name Anil Bhai. We were doing yeah, friends. that's you my know. brother. Fencing, eh? He started with friends. He did our friends. That's your yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah. Shoku. Kishor. Where, where, where is he? Shoku. Anil is still in Zambia. Still in Zambia. Yeah, I remember yeah. him. Wow. Nice. So your, is it your... Um, Arvin. You know Arvin? Arvin, uh, elder yeah. brother. He, he, right. Well, he's supposed to be on today. Join us. He's in Canada. In, uh, yeah. So he came a couple of he came a couple of years ago back to Zambia and we met him. Right. Yeah. He was our last person to leave Zambia. Yeah. And uh, he, I was telling my wife, he used to run that gas station in Chilanga. Chilanga service station. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So Can came, we continue the uh, conversation? Uh, and then we'll come back to our, our conversation again. So if you can ask to everybody to mute yourself. And ask, uh, invite uh, Smita and uh, Ati to uh, sort of go into their kitchen and see what they're cooking today. <laughs> Hi guys, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Hi, Hi guys. My... Hi, Sumilan. Hi, Arti. Um, hey, I'm Arti. Um, I'm from the Facebook page, Arti's Ever Ready Kitchen. Um, everybody go search that page and send me an invite and I'll accept your invitation. And today I'm going to be making um, oats upma. And it's a great source of fiber and it's low fat. And the vegetables, um, the vegetables I'm going to use will provide, will, is, provides the essential vitamins and minerals. Um, and it makes it a complete dish. And uh, while, I'm, while I'm cooking, Smita Ben is going to be explaining you um, the benefits of uh, the ingredients I'm going to be using. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy. Yeah, and just a little introduction, those of you that don't know me, I am from Lusaka, um, born and raised in Lusaka. Uh, my, some of you know my dad uh, from North Mead. His name was Shantilal Patel. My mom is Savita Ben. And uh, I left Zambia in 1976, but I do go back every few years. I still go back home. And um, I'm excited to be doing this uh, with Arti. I am also a certified Ayurvedic chef and consultant. And um, yeah, so let's let's do it, Arti. All right. So here are the ingredients I'm using is um, ghee, mustard seeds, hing, um, cashews, raisins, curry leaves. Um, soaked mung dal, chopped um, green chilies and um, crushed ginger, some cilantro, um, tomatoes, um, coriander powder, yogurt, pink salt. The vegetables I'm going to be using is red bell pepper, green bell pepper, some um, chopped red onions, corn, steamed corn, and roasted oats. Um, I roasted them in ghee last night, so they're ready to go. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna heat the pan, then I'm gonna add the ghee to it. 
Gonna let the ghee heat for a while. So maybe you want to explain. So while, yeah, and while the ghee is heating, so let's talk about the ingredients that she just mentioned. Um, in Ayurveda, we always talk about the six tastes and we talk about the sweet, the sour, the salty, the bitter, the pungent and astringent. So the sweet, the sweet, sour and salty tastes are for building your tissues. And the bitter, pungent and astringent tastes are extractive and they do exactly that. They help you to break down the healthier fats. And so for her, she's doing the ghee right now. Um, so ghee is actually really, really powerful to stoke your agni, your digestive fire. And um, reason why you also wanna heat up the ghee a little bit is so that the polyphenols can be released. Um, when she's putting in the mustard seeds and the other vegetables, it's going to extract out the minerals and the vitamins um, that are needed um, to actually be absorbed and metabolized in our body. Okay, the heat, the ghee has heated. I'm gonna add some mustard seeds to it. I'm gonna let it heat for a little while. The mustard seeds are also great for digestive aid. So she could do mustard seeds in there. She can do cumin seeds. She can actually do fennel seeds, which would be fabulous also. Um, fennel seeds are great for digestion. Okay, once those stop popping, add some curry leaves. So the curry leaves are actually bitter, pungent, and astringent. So they're very extractive in nature. I'm gonna add some king. Mm -hmm. That would release the gases. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some cashews, roast them for a little while. A little bit of fat and protein. Mm -hmm. And the reason why she roasted the, while she's um, sauteing over there, the reason why she also um, sauteed her oats. So people that complain about gluten issues and celiac and Crohn's disease, those kind of things, where they can't tolerate the gluten. If you roast your oats in ghee, you're actually lightening the chemical component of it so that you can actually tolerate the gluten, uh, gluten when you eat that. Um, so oats, you know, people, sometimes say I can't eat the oats because of gluten. Well, if you cook it with ghee, um, yes, you will be able to eat it. Okay, next I'm gonna add some uh, golden raisins. That's your first taste. Sweet is the first taste that we digest in our bodies. Um, you know, I don't know if people know uh, about the six tastes and the six stages of digestion, but sweet is the first one that gets digested in our body. Roast that for a little while, and, and, and by up. yeah, and by sweet, I don't mean um, you need sugar. So take out the processed sugars completely out of the diet. Uh, by sweet, it could be raisins like she has. She could have chopped up some dates in there as well. So that would also be considered as sweet. Next, I'm adding the chopped um, green chilies and the crushed ginger. And notice she didn't put the garlic in there. Garlic is kind of um, uh, rajasic, uh, very stimulating to the body. Uh, so that was uh, omitted from, from her chilies and the ginger paste. Next, I'm adding the soaked mung dal. Mm -hmm. And soaked mung dal. Um, so a lot of people, I think, when they're doing the tarka or the vagar, uh, they are adding in the dry aradni dar. Um, but aradni dar tends to be a very tamasic um, and heavy kind of dal. It produces a lot of gas in your bowel. So for her, when she did the sprouted mung dal, the mung dal was actually just soaked uh, for a couple of hours. And actually, when you do that, you're bringing in the prana, you're bringing in the life force. And it's the least of the uh, gas producing dals. So that was an, uh, a great option for Arthi. Mm -hmm. Okay, now next I'm adding the onions. If you are using onions, use very less of the onions. Yeah, so I, I use, use very less, less than onions. a half. Yep, she used less than a half. And so when you're using the onions, they're also very stimulating to your mind. Um, so we, you know, we digest with our senses and emotions. Um, onions tend to stimulate you a lot. So reduce the onions and the garlic in your um, diet. Saute that for a little while, mm -hmm. for about a minute. 
And so we, when we're talking about the six tastes, we also talk about the three energies and the ethics of temperament on the food, which are the, uh, the sattvic foods, the rajasic foods, and the tamasic foods. So once we know the categories of those foods, we want to be towards the sattvic side. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the red bell peppers. The colors are beautiful. The green bell peppers. Mm -hmm. Lots of vitamins, minerals. And the corn. Potassium, calcium. And while she's sauteing, if anybody has any questions, um, you can reach out to me, uh, Facebook Messenger, Smita Daya, and I'll respond to, to you know, any questions that you may have on the Ayurvedic side of what I'm speaking as um, Arthi's cooking. Next, I'm adding the uh, dry coriander powder. Okay, coriander powder is great. Um, coriander powder in Ayurveda is used to break down toxins, ama. So if there is any undigested by byproducts in our body, uh, the coriander seeds are very, very powerful. She's got coriander powder in there, which is great as a digestive aid as, as well. Next, I'm adding some turmeric, holy. Obviously, um, gotta have that turmeric. Uh, any inflammation in our body also purifies your blood. Great for respiratory disorders as well. I'm coming over, Arthi. I can smell it. Oh, right. yeah, the aromas are beautiful. <laughs> it is smelling really good. All right. Next, I'm going to add the oats. Okay. The oats were cooked um, prior to her doing that. Um, you always want to cook your oats. Eat. Yeah, in ghee. Um, you always want to cook your oats before you make your oatmeal um, or the upma or any other um, ways that you're using it, uh, just so that it can lighten the chemical component of it and it's easier for digestion. It's not too heavy at that point. And I'm not going to uh, saute it for too long because the oats are already pre-done. I'm going to add some salt to it, about a teaspoon. And that's the pink salt. Mix that all well. Is anybody hungry yet? Oh, yeah. All waiting. All waiting. <laughs> I'm are sure mom's you, waiting. Are you going to parcel uh, each one of us? Yeah. Can you not? Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, it Download looks so it on nice the chat. And so, yeah, it really looks um, good. Ooh. Brother's ready to come here. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to come here. Sure. All right, yeah. Next, I'm going to add two and a half cups of boiling water. I've already pre-boiled my water. Add that to that. And if you notice, she didn't do it all the way to the top, just enough for the oats to soak and cook. Um, about one cup of oatmeal, I mean oats, you can, it takes two and a half cups of water. And we're in the vata season, um, so warm cooked moist foods um, are absolutely wonderful for the season that we're in, in the cold winter season. So my final ingredient is the yogurt. And that would be the sour taste. So now she's included the sweet, the sour, the salty, the bitter, pungent and astringent would also be from the ginger. And she's also got the curry leaves in there. So she's included all six tastes um, in her meal so that we can have ojas, which is your vitality and virility. Um, we want to make sure that every those six tastes. Um, We're losing sour, you, salty, Smita? Bitter, pungent, and astringent. Yes? We lost you in those. Oh. No, I was just saying, um, Arthi uh, is almost done, but I was just saying that she's included all of the six tastes in her meal. That's a complete meal when you have all seven, six of the tastes, the sweet, the sour, salty, bitter, pungent, and astringent. And when you do that, you actually promote ojas in your body, vitality, and virility. Okay, Thank you. So now I'm going to cover this and let it cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. 
Right, we can come back and perhaps you could take a couple of questions, Nita? Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anybody who have questions, you can unmute yourself and perhaps you can take questions now. Okay. Any uh, questions? So Arti Ben, yeah. Um, Arti, you got a question for Arti. No, no, no for Smita Ben. <laughs> yeah, for, sorry, Smita Ben. Yeah, I beg yes, your pardon. please. Yeah. Yes. Um, thank you. It's very interesting. Your your talk together, and the fact that you've actually blended Ayurveda with the cooking. Um, so my question to you is: How does this uh, this particular recipe? Mm -hmm. incorporate the three phases of homeo uh, ayurveda i think it's kapha pitta and vata Va it? the vata pitta the vata pitta kaf so vata pitta and kapha yeah. so this is what she did was try doshic uh, basically she did she put in ingredients that belong to all of the three doshas so vata is made up of air and space pitta mm -hmm. is fire and water and kapha is earth and water and so you know when you're doing a tri doshic dish you don't want to put in too many ingredients. And if you notice, she didn't put too many spices in there either. Mm. So doing a tri doshic dish that works for everyone in the family. Now, I'm a vata type. I'm basically air and space. So I need to bring in the other three elements, which would be the earth, the fire, and mm. the water. Means airy and spacey foods. If I was going to eat too much of the cabbage, the cauliflower, the uh, broccoli, mm. anything that has too much airy and spacey spinach, um, that would cause me to have constipation and gassiness and bloating. Um, for pitta people, they have fire and water in them. So they need to bring in the other three elements to balance. If they're eating too much of the spicy food, what are you doing? You're made up of fire, right? Mm -hmm. So fire yeah. and fire, you're going to aggravate yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and so on and so forth. And kapha mm -hmm. is um, earth and water. So if you eat too much heavy, you're going to gain the weight. You're not going to be able to lose the weight. So... So I had a further question to that. Um, uh -huh. You say you are a certain type of person, uh, which uh, one of the three categories, right? Uh -huh. Right. So how mm -hmm. does one find out which body constitution they are? Do they need to see an Ayurvedic person? Would you advise them no, to do you that? Can do or a can a you yeah, if you guys, anyone wants to do it, I do charge for consultation, but anybody on this group that would like to know what their body type is, message me on um, on Facebook Messenger with your email address and I'll send you a link. And it's no charge for anybody that's on the members um, members here. Um, so yeah, go ahead and send me your um, email link on face Facebook Messenger. I'll email sure. you back and then I will tell you what your constitution is. Um, I'll also send you a summary of the foods to favor and the foods to avoid. Um, and you know, what kind of lifestyle do you need to have? You know, Ayurveda is a sister science of yoga. Um, so obviously sure. we look at, um, you know, the lifestyle we... You're losing you, Smita, again? Um, you know, what kind of foods would agree with your body and those kind of things. Sure, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Any more question? One more question? Um, yeah, just one more. With the current situation with COVID, what sort of diet or what sort of ingredients would you recommend? Or are you... Absolutely. Eh, yeah. So anything to combat any viruses, any inflammation that come in our body. So using the right fats. She used ghee. I know Arthi also use a, uses a lot of olive oil. I'm all about olive oil. Yes, um, also using a lot of tulsi, um, any turmeric. Tulsi is great for respiratory. COVID mm. is all about dryness, right? Mm. So a dry cough, a dry and nasal cavity. So what you want to do is take maybe Q-tip or your, just your fingertips, take some ghee or some olive oil, make sure your mucous membranes are moist so that if you get anything, um, the polyphenols start acting and helping you to fight the virus. Um, Tulsi is a great respiratory um, herb. Um, you know, I have, I'm all about Tulsi. I don't know. I think all of us probably have some I Tulsi did. in our home. Yeah. So yes. adding the Tulsi in your tea every morning in your chai is fabulous way to start the day. Um, you know, and just making sure you're eating whole foods, um, nothing processed, remove the processed items, you know, processed sugars, processed, um, bad goods, frozen foods. Um, you want to eliminate, 
um, anything that is processed and fried, stop eating the fried stuff, you know, cut that down. Um, if you're eating it every week, maybe do it once a month. Um, so those are some of the tips I, I would say that would help you in COVID, but making sure that you eat full, um, uh, whole foods, um, you know, full of prana, full of life force. Um, that's what you need in your body right now. You need the life force from the natural nutrients and ingre ingredients. Doctor, would, you be, uh, would you be kind enough to perhaps share some good uh, uh, literature available uh, to read up about Ayurveda and things like that, which you would sure. suggest? You know, as a um, I studied under Myra Levine. Um, she's my guru. Uh, but also Vasant Lad would be another, um, right, you I've know. Yes. Yeah, so if you're, you know, he's got a lot of books out. Myra has um, books out as well. So those are some really good reads that you can have. Um, but oh, yeah, perfect. Did, did you say you're on the on the web? Uh, what what's your website or your um, website is oleoliva.com or oleolivedic.com. Uh, but you can find me on Smita Daya on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll and then you can Facebook. just uh, send me a friend request, and I'll accept that. And then um, you know we can communicate through messenger or emails if you provide me with the emails. Okay. Meta will be joining us next week also, so she'll continue with the Ayurvedic sessions or program. So this is the last you. session, be a regular session of her. Thank you, Smita. You're welcome. Shall we continue with the introduction and obviously introduce the new members who've joined us? Rajna, would you like to say hello? You're on mute. Maybe Arti should share the food for for us. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Yes, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, then we'll get um, to the <laughs> enjoy this by myself. How about that? Yeah. Hi. I'm from and New Jersey. So we have okay. a lot of if if we give uh Rana the time. Rana, carry on. Carry on, Rana. Yeah, I mean. I'm in New Jersey right now. It's snowing so heavily. Uh, have about 10 inches of snow. The other day we had 30 inches. So you guys are not missing it. But mm -hmm. um, it's I really guess the, instead of Zambia in the sun, it's New Jersey in the snow, right? <laughs> so this is my first meeting in, uh, with you. It's... Uh, Turns out to be really good. So once uh, I get used to it, you know, I'll have some subjects for you. So, so maybe we can discuss it, would, you know. Would you mind, would you mind mean, telling uh, us who you are? Sorry. Sorry, man. No, if you just introduce your connection to Zambia. My connection, I, we used to live in a farm uh, on uh, Kabwe Road. And my neighbor used to be Urmila. So we grew up together. And that's about it, you know, went to Unza and then uh, settled in London and finally in USA. We've been in USA for past uh, 40 years, 40 years <laughs> almost 40 years. So I work in, I used to work in the field of radiology and uh, just retired like a few months ago. One year ago. So... That's about it. Thank and then we decided we'll travel and uh, the COVID is stopping everybody now. Right. That's right. Uh, COVID has locked us up. I, I don't know. I don't know if we blame COVID, but uh, we no, should like It's a mother nature punishment, man. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. But there's some so good sides to everything. There's positivity and negativity, you know. It's Things like COVID that brought so many families together through Zoom. That's true. That's very <laughs> true. I mean, if, if, if there was no COVID, we wouldn't have been gathering on a Zoom today. Isn't it? That's true. <laughs> there is positiveness. Say, uh, hello, Urmila Ben. Um, sorry, I didn't greet you earlier. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah. So, like you say, uh, we wouldn't have had this Zoom meeting and we wouldn't have met all the people. So there is the positive side as well. The negative side, well, wait for another year and we should be all okay. 
So, Arti, no hurry. Can, we can go and eat Arti's uh, recipe. Yeah, there you go. Everybody yeah. come to US. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I mean, have we have we Babi ne recipe apni the ne banana ni kar se Arti jo. Hmm? I know. <laughs> I mean, should write. Right. <laughs> She's somewhere around. I don't know where she is. Hang on. But I'm sure Arti can. What's the uh, dish called again? It's called oats oats upma. Uh, she's here. Yes. <laughs> now he's gone hunting for Bobby. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> That's my wife. Must be really hungry, right? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nila, you have to eat. Oh my God. Nila. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, let's keep showing. Hi. Hi. Okay. Ranjan, so, do you know Kisho Belly Moria? I think so. Now, yeah. I've left Zambia so long ago, you know. Yeah, Kisho, by our culture. I, I remember you. She was my classmate. Yeah. Just yeah. primary school. Yeah, yeah. Good old days. When did you leave Zambia? I left Zambia in 1960. Now, Urmila Ben. Oh, I left in 77. 77, huh? Okay, Ranjan Ben, is it Ranjan Ben? Yeah, yeah, around uh, 70, yes, 75, uh, no, 76, ma. Oh, same time. Yeah. 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 Oh, so Unzama, you might have known my brother, JC, Jayant, Mystery. Jayant, Kyala, the shape of the world. Right. Yeah. But it's very difficult. He's uh, here in a uh, uh, city called Rancho Cucamonga. I, I saw uh, him two years ago, yeah, London. Right, right. Um, yeah, so he's here. He's semi retired now, you know. Okay. <laughs> You know where Chiman Mystery is? Oh, Chiman, the uh, Chiman Mystery Papa, the, the large constructors, construction yeah, companies yeah, that used to have. Yeah, he's in my house. Yeah, he's in, a, he used to what? They built my house in Zambia. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the, his dad was into construction, you know? Yeah, he's uh, he's got a dental practice. You know, he's, uh, he's about 72 years old and he still does the marathon. He runs. Okay. Wow. And uh, yeah, he's he's doing amazing, you know. Yeah, and uh, we got we got our Prajapati Samaj here, which is our mystery Samaj. Uh, so uh, <clears throat> we keep in touch with some of the Zambians from there, you know. Yeah, his uh, brother, the late brother Pravin, was a good friend of mine. Yeah, he, was yeah, he you heard about he pa passing away in a plane crash with Arvind Mystery, right. Baluka Kaz Arvind. Yeah. That's very good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, so yeah they both they passed away in Lusaka after all that. Yeah. The running over time, perhaps we could sort of finish up with a closing song and then we can continue afterwards. So if I can ask Prakash to do the closing song and then after the closing song, we could perhaps continue the conversation. <laughs> we can mute you, everybody, and I can hand over to Prakash. You're on mute, Prakash. Do you have another meeting next week as well? Yeah, sorry, the meeting continues every week. It's a weekly okay. session every week, 6.30. Same time. So the time so continues, like... and we intend to bring, yeah. hopefully, like this, uh, will uh, apply his singing talent next week. Uh, we invite him to participate. <laughs> are, you, are you still writing that book? Um, He's so... still writing. That hasn't been completed now, and that is part of my aspects of bringing everybody together now. No, Make i tell happen. you why I'm asking, because yeah. a, a very interesting uh, book came, whether it's a book or a diary, that was produced some years ago in Lusaka, Zambia. Um, I forget the name of the author. He was there in Zambia compiling a list of Asians who were involved with the independence yeah. struggle, and with the independence of Zambia. Okay. Now, I haven't got it to hand. I'm hoping to get it next week. Please do send it out. And, you know, I might be able to share something there. You might be able to include yeah, some yeah. of that in your book. I welcome it. 
Yes. Okay. So and I think the author was uh, T. A. But. Hmm. No, yeah, yeah. author was T. A. Right. But. But yeah, that's right. That's name. No, no, thank you for sharing that. I, mean, yeah. I look forward to receiving information. Okay. But the final book or whatever we compile has to do justice of reminding our grandchildren what the <laughs> grandparents had achieved in Zambia from nineteen. <laughs> 30s or 1905 when the first Asians came to Zambia, the present day. So it's time to make sure we cover that topic or the story about it. Obviously, accounting of all different families included in the book. Yeah, I'll keep everybody updated on that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Prakash. Uh, you still on mute, Prakash? If you can ask everybody to mute yourself. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. I don't know if I got it. The first time I said it now, when I was looking up, can I fix it? Hello. Everybody has to be muted. Yeah, I'm, I'm muting everybody. Don't worry. <clears throat> Sunil, can you can you mute everybody except me? Yeah, I'm trying to find out which one is there to Prakash. If you just speak, talk. Just say hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. okay, you're the other uh, uh, So I got you. Yeah, you're on. Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Prakash Patel. Uh, I was in Andola in 70s and uh, came back in 79. Uh, I, I live in North Carolina right now, Greenville, North Carolina. Anyway, you guys know this past year has been uh, tough. Most of us have lost someone that we knew to this pandemic. Their lives we shall remember and their memory we shall cherish forever. I'm dedicating this song to all of them. Oh, uh, if it is playing, okay. Yeah. <laughs> कोई समझा नहीं कोई जाना नहीं जिंदगी का सफर है कैसा सफर
Amazing. Hi, Deku. Hi. I'm coming over soon. Hi. Or you can sit over there and you can sit. Yeah. But Thunder over there. Thank you, Arti. You're welcome. Thank you, Arti. Thank you, Arti. You're welcome. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Smita. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you for the dish. Kevin, why are you upside down? <laughs> Sorry? His camera is upside down. No, something's wrong wrong here, yeah. That's technology. Okay. Australia, Portuguese, okay. second edge. I can assure you I'm not falling over, so don't worry. <laughs> Um, I, I have one more, like, practice one, and then I have, like, the actual one. Oh. The actual one the All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's just Thank the one you. I'm taking at school. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll meet you again. We'll see you same time, same place okay. next week. All Thanks right. for joining bye. us tonight. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Nice to see you all. Thank you very much. Bye.